This is Twit. A while back, we talked about peering arrangements. Peering arrangements are what telcos do with one another. For example, Cogent, which is one of the largest bandwidth providers in the world, and Verizon, which is one of the largest last mile operators. So they can actually connect that bandwidth, that backbone to your home, to your office. Now, they're getting into a bit of a tussle here because it turns out that Verizon is killing Netflix. That's right. If you're a Verizon customer, Ver uh, Netflix is being delivered by Cogent, delivered over the last mile through Verizon. But Verizon is not living up to their end of the bargain in the, the peering agreement. Now, here's how it typically works. There are handoff points. There are exchange points between the two networks where the traffic must flow. Because they're peer, they've agreed to allow each other's traffic to flow freely through their networks and basically not charge each other anything. But in order for that to happen, they have to maintain the links. What Verizon has done is they've changed how they handle the interchange. Whereas most interchanges are upgraded once they hit 50% of capacity, Verizon is letting them go all the way to 100 and even over subscription before they, they start even thinking about upgrading the interconnection points. Now, Chibert, tell me, what would be the direct effects of me having an appear, peering arrangement, say, with you, and then deciding that I'm not going to upgrade the equipment that runs between the two networks? The, uh, 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 lots of stuttering, lots of there we go. dropouts. It's, it's nasty. You know... And, you know, the whole trick with video or of any sort is it needs consistent packet delivery. And if you start um, having dropouts, your video goes to crap because one frame is dependent upon many others. So this whole thing of people saying, well, you know, we can get away with cheating a little bit. And instead of upgrading that link at 50 percent, 60 percent, we're just going to keep going until it's like 80, 90 percent, which really stinks. Because networks don't like running at 100%. They actually don't even really like running at 90% because network traffic in general is bursty. Um, so a lot of this is just vote with your dollars. You need to complain. Uh, I'm on Oceanic, which is a Time Warner um, uh, cable modem. And I am very well known to the operators because every time the performance of my cable modem starts to stink, I call and I complain. If you don't call and you don't complain, you get whatever you deserve. You need to call. The squeaky wheel in this case really does make a difference because in the case of Oceanic, if I complain and enough people in my neighborhood complain, they consider splitting the collision domain so that I'm competing for bandwidth with less people. And Veri um, not Verizon, Oceanic has actually gone and upgraded their WAN connections in a couple of cases because enough people were complaining the things like Netflix just didn't work. So call, complain, shut down the Verizon call centers because of overloaded call traffic. Give them crap because you as a consumer need to vote with your dollars.